Hello everyone. Welcome to session of Artificial Intelligence. My name is Vishal Jain and you can contact me on https.semantics.io. So let's talk about agenda for today's session. We are going to talk about AI, what is intelligence and what is artificial intelligence. And we will try to see some uh, definitions of artificial intelligence from the perspective of think humanly, act humanly, think rationally and act rationally. Then we are going to talk about the history of AI. So artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has been impacting our life in many ways. It has been touch pointing. There are several touch points where artificial intelligence has been influencing our life, whether we are working, whether we are in uh, office, whether we are traveling somewhere. AI based application has been influencing us one way or other way. AI has become one of the hot topics of discussion everywhere in the news, on social media, in cafe. There will be a lot of articles which talk about the, uh, the positive side as well as negative side of AI. There are reports of terms of superhuman performance in games. For example, Jeopardy, IBM Warsaw in 2011, Go, DeepMind's AlphaGo in 2016. And there have been several benchmark tasks which has proved that AI based applications can perform better than a human being. And some of them are like reading comprehension, speech recognition, and face recognition, and medical imaging. So let's talk about AI, the negative side and speculation about uh, AI. So uh, people say that sweeping societal changes due to automation will lead into the massive job losses. And so it may surpass human level intelligence and try to seek control. When it happens, the AI will be detrimental for the society. AI companies. So several companies have been investing in AI. So let us see example of some of the companies who have been investing in AI. So first one is uh, Google. They have been, according to CEO of Google, Sundar Pichai, in 2017, he mentioned that there have been an important shift from a mobile first word to an AI first word. Microsoft, uh, according to 2016 report, created AI and research group as fourth engineering division, and there are 8,000 people now. Facebook created Facebook AI research, and Mark Zuckerberg uh, has, is very optimistic and invested heavily in uh, AI in Facebook. Other companies are IBM, Amazon, Apple, Uber, Salesforce, Baidu, and Tencent, etc., who have been investing heavily in AI. Governments, what they talk about AI. USA White House report 2016 says that AI holds the potential to be the major driver of economic growth and social progress. China released a domestic strategic plan to become world leader in AI by 2030. Russia, according to Putin in 2017, he mentioned that whoever becomes a leader in this sphere of AI will become the ruler of the world. So both companies and government are investing heavily in AI and both of them see AI as an integral part of their competitive strategy. So let's talk about the number of uh, uh, published AI papers year on year. If you see that AI papers within CS have uh, outnumbered the papers in field of CS and papers from all other fields. So it shows that the, the kind of research we see uh, in past couple of years in the field of AI and lot of work has been done in the field of AI compared to other fields. Number of AI startup. So from 2005 onwards, the curve of uh, a number of startup has been exponentially high and every day, every month, more and more startups have been entering into the field of AI. So let's talk about intelligence. So intelligence is studied in human being, non-human animals and plants. By Collins dictionary, intelligence is ability to think, uh, reason, and understand instead of doing things automatically or by instinct. So when we talk about any com any agent or any object, we try to uh, see whether the uh, agent or object is intelligent or not. We have to see that whether it has the ability to think, reason, and understand. For few thousand years, we have been trying to understand how do we think and what is our 
thought process so that we can build those kinds of those kind of capabilities into the computers there is a question which we have been trying to solve that what makes some brain is smarter than others and whether a calculator is more intelligent than a human being so calculator if you see can uh, uh, calculate the larger calculations more efficiently than human being but can we say that calculator is more intelligent than human being if we go by the definition of intelligence it is able to think reason and understand so calculator is programmed for uh, doing those calculations uh, fastly but it's, it does not have able to think reason and understand so that's why we can say that the calculator is not an intelligent uh, entity and cannot be intel more intelligent than a human being so the field of artificial intelligence goes one step further it is all about how we can build a com intelligent computer that can do things which human can do better so ai is a relatively new field offer multiple opportunity to academia researchers and industry for breakthrough in inventions other uh, there such breakthrough inventions in other fields of science and engineering is very difficult these days because lot of work has been done in this field but in field of artificial intelligence lot of work is still need to be done and that's why more and more people are focusing on ai based research what is intelligence artificial intelligence is the study of computation that make it perceive reason and act the objective of ai of uh, ai is to build systems that can think like human that act like human then think rationally and that can act rationally so let us see what these uh, each of these four points mean think humanly the cognitive modeling approach if we say that a given program think like a human we need to find out how the human think so in order to build that kind of capability into a computer we have to think we have to analyze first that how a human being think we need to get into the uh, actual working on human brain to find that how it can it gets into one logic or it gets to the conclusion there are three ways first is through introspection so we can try to catch hold of our thoughts as they go by we can uh, get it done through uh, physiological experiment so we can see other person in action how the person is uh, acting in different situation and condition and through brain imaging we can observe the brain in action and based on these three we can try to find out actual working of human brain once we understand the brain it can be translated to a computer program if the output output behavior of the computer program matches the behavior of a human in given condition we can say that the computer is able to mimic the uh, human in those certain conditions for instance acting humanly during test approach uh, alan turing developed turing test in 1950 it tests the ability to of a machine to exhibit intelligent behavior that is equivalent or better than that of human during a test a human interrogator poses question to a human and a computer all participants are separated from each other human is in one so that they, they do not see each other and uh, the interrogator does not know from where the answer is coming from whole conversation takes place in written format instead of oral format using keyboard and a monitor so this is to restrict the capability to the written uh, <coughs> understanding not the oral understanding the computer passes the test if the interrogator cannot tell whether the re response is coming from the human or the computer so if the responses are so good that the for interrogator it does not make any sense whether it's coming from the interrogator from the human or from the computer in that case we can say that the computer has passed the allen turing test so in order to pass the test the computer need the following capabilities first of all it should have the capability of natural language processing so that it can understand the process and process the language and it can uh, uh, process it knowledge representation uh, so whatever knowledge it has which is required or what is knowledge it has been given in the initially so it need to encode knowledge action and belief and other mental states in the artificial system Autom automatic reasoning 
help computer apply the logical reasoning to solve the problem and answer the question and draw new conclusions. Machine learning helps computer learn automatically, adapt to new circumstances and improve from experience without external intervention. One of the variations of Turing test is total Turing test. Using this test, the interrogated, interrogated can test the perceptual ability of the subject using computer vision and ability to manipulate the object and move about using robotics. So the next one is think rationally, law of thought approach. Aristotle, the Greek philosopher, initiated the field called logic. In his famous uh, syllogism, Aristotle uh, provided pattern for uh, argument structures. These patterns gave correct conclusion when they are provided with correct premises. In the syllogism, the law of thoughts play one of the most important role. These law of thoughts are so simple and basic that one can argue that they should not be said. However, they are fundamental to clearing, clear and sound thinking. So these are known as law of identity, law of contradiction, and law of extended middle. Law of identity asserts about the absolute truth. It says that if a statement is true, then it is true. The law asserts that everything in itself, it cannot be, it cannot be something else. So for example, the river cannot be cloud, a cloud cannot be an ocean. So the object which has a property of a uh, river, we can name it by some other name, but the same object we cannot say, uh, we cannot mix with other uh, object which has different property. So cloud is a different property, river is a different property. We cannot call the same object as cloud and river. Well, law of contradiction asserts that no statement cannot be both true and false. For example, Jim can be father of Rick and son of Mike, but Jim cannot be biological father and son of the same person. Either he can be son, father or he can be a son of some other person. So there's a truth of life. Law of excluded middle asserts that a statement is either true or false. There is no middle ground. If a statement is half true, then it is false. A half true statement is always lie. Logic and developed all the notations for all kind of object in the world and relationship among them. By 1965, the program could solve any problems described in the logical notation. Acting rationally, rational agent approach. Here uh, we refer the agent as a computer. An agent acts means that the word agent comes from the Latin, which means agree to do. Even though all the computer programs give same output, but they are expected to do more given the output. So they act rationally when they are able to operate autonom autonomously. They don't need any external intervention. Identify the environment they are operating in and they can adjust themselves according to the change in condition and the environment. Continue to work for a prolonged period of time and they adapt to the change. They are able to identify their own goals and pursue them. So these are the characteristics of a human being that for like we as a human being can operate autonomously. We don't need any external support. We can take our own decision. We identify where we are working, what kind of environment we are in and based, and based on the environment changes, we can adapt our changes and we can identify a goal, our own and pursue them. A racial agent act to achieve the best outcome when there is an uncertainty as to achieve best expected outcome. So not necessarily that agents try to get the 100% outcome, but given the, given the situation, it can try to find the, achieve the best expected outcome. Acting rationally means uh, achieve one's goal given one's belief. So let's come to the next part of it, that is history of AI. And uh, history, artificial intelligence has been studied from decade and is one of the more popular subjects in computer science. Since the dawn on, uh, of electronic computing, computers with human-like intelligence has been the dream of mathematicians and computer scientists. By 1940, a generation of computer scientists, mathematicians and philosophers started working on the concept of artificial intelligence. One of the pioneers of AI was Vannevar Bush. In his work, As We May Think, talked about a future world in which man-made machines will start to think. Alan Turing is a young bit who explored the uh, possibilities of mathematical possibility of artificial intelligence. In his famous 1950 work named Computing Machine Intelligence, wrote about machine that can simulate human beings and do intelligent things. 
So we we discussed the Turing test uh, in the previous slides, and uh, by giving that Turing test, he raised the possibility that machine can be programmed to learn from experience, similar to a young child. However, Turing could not accomplish much in his pursuit work pursuit towards building intelligent machine because the technology at that time lacked a key prerequisite for intelligence. They could not store commands and they could only execute them. In other words, computer could not to tell what to do but could not remember what they did. Secondly, the computers were very expensive and computing was uh, very expensive at that time. So let's talk about a conference that started AI. Five years later, the logic or concept was initialized through Ellen Neville, T. Cliff Shaw, and Herbert Simons, uh, logistic logic theorist. The logic theorist was a program designed to mimic the program and solve uh, skills of a human. It was funded by uh, Research and Development Corporation RAND. It is considered by many to be first artificial uh, intelligence program, which presented at the Dharmut Summer Search Research Project on Artificial Intelligence, hosted by John McCarthy and Marvin McKinsey in 1956. In this historical uh, conference, McCarthy brought together top researchers from various fields, open-ended discussion on artificial intelligence, and in this particular conference, the, uh, the term which coined this uh, artificial intelligence was uh, coined. Sadly, the conference fell short of McCarthy's expectation and people came and went as they pleased because they there was a failure to agree on a standard method of the fields. But despite this, everyone who totally aligned with the sentiment that AI was achievable. So roller coaster, after that, there have been a uh, series of successes and failures in the field of AI. In the subsequent de decades, the field of AI went through ups and downs as some AI uh, research problems proved uh, more difficult than anticipated and other proved more invisible with the technology of the time. It wasn't until 1990 the research uh, progress in AI began to accelerate and researcher focused more on sub-programs of AI and application of AI of, to real worlds such as image recognition and medical diagnosis. Early milestone in 1997, victory of IBM chess playing computer Deep Blue over the world champion Gary Kasparov. That's where the people start talking about AI seriously. Another significant breakthrough included DARPA cognitive agent that learn and organize which led the success of uh, uh, in Apple uh, Siri. IBM question answering uh, computer, Watson victim TV game show, Jupardi. And the sur surprising success of self-driving car in DARPA Grand Challenge competition in the year 2000. So current wave, current wave of progress and enthusiasm of AI began in around 2010, given with three factors. First is the availability of big data. So today we have big data, uh, we, we have plenty of data which has been generated every minutes and seconds through e-commerce, business, social media, science and government, which provided raw material for dramatically improved uh, machine learning approaches and algorithm, and which relied on the capability of more powerful computers. During this period, the pace of improvement also surprised AI experts. For example, one popular image recognition challenge that had 5% human error rate according to one uh, error measure, the best AI result improved from 26% error rate in 2011 to 3.5% in 2015. So here you can see that that uh, uh, the results which were not as good as human being in last few years they has started surprising the uh, results that can be achieved from human versus that that can be achieved by the artificial intelligence application. Thank you for your attention and uh, if you have any question about this session you can visit me on uh, uh, cemeteries.io and uh, feel free to contact me for any subsequent.